Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at the March 2024 Debian update of the Vision 5.2 image. Um, there are some new things. Um, so they say 1080p is playable with FF play, but with frame drops. We're going to have a look at that one. Um, unfortunately, we still have to wait for Vulkan support. So the good thing is, is that um, they've updated to the 6.1 kernel. Previously, I think it was 5.15. And well, unfortunately, uh, apart from uh, video playback, I don't see much improvement with graphics, for instance, like OpenGL. So we're going to test the WebGL Aquarium. And then once it's fully loaded, we can have a look at the frames per second and 500 fishes. It gets around 11 frames per second. So that's not really a difference with earlier images. And this is with the Chromium browser. So one other thing is that I also compiled SuperTux card. And here also there's not any significant improvement, unfortunately. Um, hopefully we'll get uh, better OpenGL support, or perhaps once we have Falcon, that we can run things with Falcon. So with the default settings, and we go to Hacienda. So we get around, I think around 15 frames per second, something like that. Um, it's not super smooth, but it's, it's playable. And well, we're not even full screen yet. So we definitely uh, need some better uh, graphics drivers. This is not going so well, <laughs> but I guess you can, you get the picture. So the good part is, is that um, there is improvement with the video playback. Um, so here we have H.264, 1080p. Uh, it's 60 frames per second. So if we play this with VLC,
and perhaps there are still some minor graphical glitches here and there but I think this is uh, acceptable as a video playback so H.264 1080p 60 frames per second that looks uh, acceptable so I also have another file but this one is VP9 it's only 20 fr 24 frames per second um, that's a bit of a weird widescreen resolution it's a bit more than 1920 but it's not 1080 so you have some black bars above and below but um, it's VP9 and it looks like they don't have the access to the hardware decoder because uh, yeah I thought that the imagination technologies GPU that it's should be able to do VP9 hardware decoding but here you can see that it's freezes so yeah that is uh, probably something for the future So it's it's good to see that we still get regular updates. There's still a lot of work to be done. But I think the H.264 video decoding uh, is a nice upgrade. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.